going to doubt God. Where shall the wicked stand? If them that are righteous are going to go to doubt this mighty God, where then shall wicked stand? But I declare in my life as the righteousness of God, I shall never doubt his word. I shall never doubt his word. He has said that I am blessed in the city and in the villages. I believe that to the core. He has said that he has given me every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. I believe that to the core. He has said that I am the head and not the tail. I believe that to the core in the mighty name of Jesus. He has said wherever we shall go, every place where feet shall go, that place I shall give unto you. He has given us the grace even to dominate. He says, and then I have created man and I give him dominion over every sea creature, over everything that grows on the earth, over every bird that flies in the atmosphere. He has given us that dominion. Somebody declare it. It is your portion tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Call him, he is God the faithful God. He is God the faithful God. He is God the Father, even of the fatherless. We call him even, oh, Sharamagadegado. He is the father of every fatherless. He is the husband of the widows. He is the one that is the provider. He is the one that is the protector. And this time we have gathered in his sanctuary, even to declare of his goodness and mercy. O panosti progon cabanos take in to credus tacon cabanos ripacotori magado guda gadoge in sopanos caturimando shale magado guda gadagade in te copra castu prego in pracosta catalababa supo cotoro magadugade in to catori magado gado bless the father bless the law in the mighty name of Jesus me minina qua minia qua kila kit and Baco Predo Codagadagade in Te Costiri Magado Pardu in Chapano no Godo 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 Zopre Cadadadagada Rapacatatatatatato Ripecate de 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 then you are more than willing even to answer our prayers. I pray that the grace even of reception rest upon us. We posture our hearts and our spirits to get a response. And into to Katelebo Masheko Pakuta Remagado. In Sondale Magade, Zuprekede de 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 de, in Dorobogoda Gado Gado, in Teregede Gede Gede de, I feel the power in Shopradusteko, Zupale Magado Gado Gado, in Tetraduste Pradus, in Sopala Magado Gade Gado, Shakata Lamana Manado, Zuprekotoro Magade, Suri Magada Gado Gode, Shalamada da 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 da, Sharagada Gade Gede Gode come on somebody pray somebody pray somebody pray the bible has reminded us in the book of psalm 8 and verse number 4 who oh, is meant that god is so mindful about him who oh, is meant that god can even visit him and the bible says in the verse that follows that man has been given glory and honor by the Lord he is much a little bit lower than the angels but he is different from the angels because he is a carrier of grace and honor that even the angels of heaven do not carry come on somebody claim, claim your portion claim your portion claim your portion in the mighty name of Jesus we have been taught that we are receiving a 
kingdom that cannot be shaken and Luke says in Luke chapter 12 and verse number 32 do not be afraid or you little children for it is the father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom we have been given the kingdom we have been given the kingdom I am a kingdom ambassador I am a kingdom ambassador come on somebody pray I feel grace to pray you have been born again and given a kingdom the Bible says we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken it says in Hebrews chapter 12 and verse number 32 you are receiving a kingdom and verse number 28 you are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken even as the worship team comes on stage salimando kredusta and then when you come on stage you bless the Lord bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him bless him continue blessing the Lord bless the Lord bless the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus bless the Lord bless the Lord bless the Lord, bless the Lord. tell him this package of my worship I give it unto you tell him this celebration of my spirit I give it unto you there is no man that can be worthy to get any any honor except you there is no one that can receive oh sharama no no body mado except the king of all the glory i want to say like samuel of the bible that this father the lord is ebenezer if you can help me say that shando makuste potelema in proko saramagadogodo shalemando stiko taremagade shalamala balabala barego interegedegedegedagadugade supredos takutaremandos shalamadagadagadagadagado shalamagadagadagadagado come on everybody bless him bless him bless him bless him the worship team bless the lord shando prekusta kota mando posta kutelebo supakatelebe debedebo into pekota ramagado jare mededegedegedegedo tatori magadagadagado tatori magadogadegado supakosta ramandos inte pakosti rimade shara magadagadagadego sorry Father, we bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, continue worshiping. Continue worshiping. I believe the Lord has a good thing of our lives. There's a special thing He has already prepared unto us wherever you're watching us from in the name of Jesus. There is a new thing he is doing. The Bible says that he will never gather his people in vain. Sa -da 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 -da. There is always a blessing. There is always a blessing. As you're tuning in wherever you are in the name of the Lord, there is a blessing. The glory of God comes over your life in the name of the Lord. Liberty, elevation comes in the name of Jesus. Sa -da 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 Come on, just lift your hands in worship. Lift your hands in worship. Lift your hands in worship. Lada, fandu zetele makarabanda brade, vende kotele mazupra de makaya, randa kotele mazebe talingande, vanda kotele makarabada. Come on, exalt him, 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 exalt him. Shanda biando zada gaba, vende ketori manda brade manda. Fanda dobo she de 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 Mando so do do bo she de 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 Sando baga da ga da ga da ga so de ga ba Frando si tele magarabanda brade mando Maga da We worship you Jesus We adore thy holy name Lord you are great You are mighty we worship you 
Just raise up your hands and worship the Lord this evening. Tell him that he is great, he is mighty. How excellent is your name, O oh God. How excellent is your name, O oh God. You are highly lifted up. No one compares to you, O oh God. You are mighty, excellent, O oh God. We worship your holy name, Jesus. Blessed is thy holy name, O oh Father. We bow before your throne this evening. We declare that you alone are God. None besides you, Lord. No other God but you. We lay our lives before your throne this evening, our Father. We exalt you, Jesus. Be magnified, O oh God. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Oh, rekete wo sakaraba. Mandelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
The Bible says that I have believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. It is what you see as a child of God. Your mother, the conqueror, the greater one, lives on this side of you. And it is in the name of the Father, of the Son, 
and of the Holy Ghost. Come on, lift your hands above your head and give Jesus a mighty clap and a shout of praise. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. He has done great. We celebrate you. We celebrate you. We lift our hands. We give a clap offering unto you. You're worthy. You're worthy. Hallelujah. Healing comes. Restoration of that family. In the name of the Lord. Salvation. In the name of the Lord. It's revealed. Come on once more. Lift your hands and give Jesus a clap offering. And a shout of praise. I say give Jesus a mighty shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for this time. It's yet another time that we want to praise Him with all our hearts, with everything we have. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Nataka tumwimbie Bwana kwa nguvu yetu yote. Haleluya. Maana yake tumekuja hapa kutafuta yeye. Haleluya. Haya tumpigie Bwana makofi. Makofi kwa Bwana, makofi kwa Bwana.
akiwa upande wako nani atakuwa tu yako usiwe na wasiwasi linda imani yako usiwe na wasiwasi eh linda imani yako sipe moyo mwanadamu bwana yesu anakuona anachiwa unapolala na unapoamka akiwa upande wako nani atakuwa tu yako usiwe na wasiwasi linda imani yako Usiwe na wasiwasi ni daimani yako Inuwa tatizo yangu neno la Mungu lasema barikiwa mtu yule anayemtumaini Mungu baba mwenyezi anayemtumaini Mungu baba mwenyezi kwa muganga wa kenyeji hakuna jibu lolote katika shida zako na matatizo yako neno la Mungu lasema barikiwa mtu yule anayemtumaini Mungu baba mwenyezi anayemtumaini Mungu baba mwenyezi kwa muganga wa kenyeji hakuna jibu hey! katika shida zako na matatizo yako neno la Mungu lasema barikiwa mtu yule anayemtumaini Mungu baba mwenyezi anayemtumaini Mungu baba mwenyezi sauti mwambie Mungu hata ibada yote ni yako siku ya leo hata kila sifa tumesema hapa ni zako come on somebody lift those holy hands and tell him that kama kuna chochote ninataka kukupa ni kila chochote kilicho changu mwambie ninakuinulia kila nafsi ninakuinulia kila ali bwana ninakuinulia kila chochote kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Father we love you Father we bless you bless him in broka stupele mandoge talebogo in sheko talemagado gado tell him all the praise and glory are yours if there is anything that i have is all yours oh god i give you all my worship i give you all my worship i give you all my worship you have promised glory that if i can worship you you can give me all the glory come on tell him tell him tell him tell him tell him in broka supale mando go sapeto in sonte makoste patala bagado come on somebody are you talking to god in pekoste rimagadego in son pekusta pala malebelebe in soro magadagado godo 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 in this week of prayer and fasting i shall see you my god ipokando go sipatele bobo in tetelo 
He is the lifter of the burdens of men. He is the one that can lift away every burden. He is the one that can change the story. Men are talking about hardships, but them that are says we are talking of the goodness of the Lord. We are not complaining about nothing. Lift your hands and tell him, Daddy, I am not changing my confession about you. You are so faithful to change. With the chote the mountain of the house of the Lord is highly exalted above the other mountains it is highly exalted above every other mountain and men are flowing in the house of God for solution there is solution to this corona thing in the house of the Lord there is solution Father, we bless you. Lift those horns as we pray together. Father, we love you. Father, we exhort you above. The Bible has promised that the mountain of the Lord shall be exalted above the other mountains, above any other mountain of influence. And we declare the church is forging ahead in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you. We thank you and we give you this celebration because you are worthy in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's bless him with a beautiful hand of praise. In the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord, without taking much time, it is my pleasure to welcome our man of God. Let's appreciate the servant of the Lord. We can do better as everybody is standing up. In the name of Jesus, welcome. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I said glory to God. How many people are excited to be in the house of the Lord tonight? We want to welcome you that is watching us live. We want to say thank you that you're tuned in. We want to ask you, you can put up your watch party there and be a blessing to someone. Thank you for coming. Thank you for tuning in. Your coming is not in vain. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will impact you, lift you, shift you. In this season, it's a new season. We've just this week received a new season. Allow me to announce that things will not be the same again. Things will not be the same again. You better get yourself ready to recover what you were unable to do in the first quarter of the year. In the first three quarter of the year, you better get yourself ready to do that which you did not do. Get yourself ready. Get yourself ready. Somebody say, I'm getting myself ready. I'm getting myself ready. I'm getting myself ready for another shift in my life. Glory be to Jesus. Shall we lift our hands as we pray together? Heavenly Father, once again tonight, we are grateful. We thank you that, Lord, you give us a moment like this. Oh, God Almighty, we are not ignorant. We know there was a time. It was difficult. It was challenging for us to gather. And so we are grateful. We don't take this as a mean opportunity. We know that it has taken your hand. We know that you have fought for us. We know that you have prevailed. You have prevailed for us. And tonight as we gather in this place, even to hear your word, I pray that you speak to us. I pray that you impact us with thy grace and power. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will not leave this place the same way we came in. In the mighty name of Jesus, impact us with thy power, with the fire, with thy anointing. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory, we give you praise, and we give you all the honor. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we all agree together and say, Amen. Amen.
Somebody shout a bitter amen. Amen. This is the evening that the Lord has made. If you came unwell, you will live healed. If you came harassed, you will live in freedom. If you're watching us and you have issues disturbing your spirit, I mean God will do it for you. I want to make a very radical statement. It is abnormal for a child of God not to expect, not to desire the impossibility turning to be possible. If you don't, if you don't desire, when you see impossibilities, your spirit should get excited. That is where you thrive. That is where you should feel awakened. When you see things not working, you should know they were not working before you arrived. They are going to work now that you are in it. In Jesus' name. So have an appetite for the miraculous. Have an appetite to see God intervening in your life. Doing that which somebody told you cannot work or can never be possible. I mean, have that appetite. Glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody came to see me uh, last week and told me where they were doing business. She was chased away. People chased her away using, I mean, she went there and found people doing all manner of things. Witchcraft and all that. And they began to raise accusations and battles against her. And I told her, now I summon you back. And back to recover. She's come today, told me, Pastor, I was packing. Now I'm unpacking. Glory to God. I say glory to God. You serve an all-powerful God who can do what nobody can do in Jesus' name. Turn with me to the uh, the epistle to the church in Rome. That is the book of Romans chapter 9 as we stand for the reading of the word of God briefly. Uh, And today we thank God you that is watching. We are having communion. We are having communion with us. And we want to welcome you that uh, you prepare yourself in the house. Put your elements ready and get yourself ready to be blessed. Hallelujah. Uh, Romans chapter 9, verse 1 to verse number 5. And uh, we read the word of the Lord together. I tell you the truth. In Christ, I am not lying. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit. Verse 2, that I have great sorrow and continue grief in my heart. Verse 3, he says, for I could wish that I myself were cast from Christ for my brethren, my countrymen according to the flesh. Verse 4, the Bible says, who are Israelites to whom pertain the adoption, the glory, the covenant, the giving of the law, the service of God, and the promises, glory to God. Of whom are the fathers and of whom, according to the flesh, Christ came, who is over all the eternally blessed God. Amen. Please give us again verse number 4. And as you give us verse number four, please, if you can give it to us on the screens using the amplified version, we will appreciate. Shall we read on the screen? It says, for they are Israelites and to them belongs God's adoption as a nation. And the glorious presence, Shekinah, the glory, with them were the special covenants made. To them was the law given. To them the temple worship was revealed. And God's own promises announced. Verse 5. To them belong the patriarchs. And as far as his natural descent was concerned. From them is the Christ. Who is exalted and supreme over all. Blessed forever. Amen. So let it be. Glory to God. Please go back to verse number four. And if you can give it to us in the New Living Translation or the message version. The New Living Translation says they are the people of Israel chosen to be God's adopted children. God revealed his glory to them. He made them covenants. He made covenants with them and gave them his law 
he gave them the privilege of worshiping him and receiving his wonderful promises. Verse 5 in the New Living Translation says, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are their ancestors. And Christ himself was an Israelite as far as his human nature is concerned. And he is God, the one who rules over everything and is worthy of eternal praise. Amen. Please scan with me to verse 23 in the New Living Translation. He does this to make the riches of his glory shine even brighter on those to whom he shows mercy. Somebody lift up your hand and say, I've been shown mercy. Who were prepared in advance for glory. Verse 24, it says, and we are among those whom he selected. Somebody say, I'm selected. Both from the Jews and from the Gentiles. Verse 25. Concerning the Gentiles, God says in the prophecy of Hosea, those who were not my people, I will now call my people. And I will love those whom I did not love before. Verse 26 closes by saying, and then at the place where they were told, you are not my people. They will be called children of the living God. May the Lord bless his word. Even as you descend to your seat. And if you can push closer to that empty space in front of you. As we do the social distance. As it is just expiring soon. Please just do come closer. This social thing. We will turn it to spiritual thing. Glory to God. Thank you. Worshipped him. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to let you know that the Roman, the letter to the Romans was Paul's greatest work. And this I repeat. I laid the foundation on Sunday. The letter, and if you can take time as a believer, if you can take time, I challenge you, take it upon yourself to read the epistle to the Romans by Paul, written by the Apostle Paul to the Romans. It is his greatest work in his writing. After you read epistle to Romans, again, take time and go and read Galatians. They have the same lingua. They, they, they have the same similarity in rhythm, in language, in a lot of things. And they are very important to putting clarity over the life of a believer. Your former life and your present life in Christ. Glory to God. You need to note that Paul is writing to a people that he had not met. But he had heard of their faith in Christ. But what he heard is that these people of Romans had faith in Christ. You need to understand that this is a letter written not to the Jews, but written to, even if you will listen to me on Sunday, please take note. Even if, uh, uh, I mean, it's written to Romans. These were not Jews, they were Gentiles. They were Gentiles. And as far as matter salvation was concerned, the Gentiles were not accounted. But by the grace of God, according to the gospel of John chapter 1, beginning from verse 1, the Bible says, in the beginning was the word. Oh my God, I don't know why when I'm preaching about Romans, I mean from Romans I have to go to John. And, but it's because there's, the foundation is in John. Uh, he says in chapter 1 of John chapter 1 verse 1. He says in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Glory to God. Somebody repeat. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. 
you're saying like you're not sure. Would you repeat it again? In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Verse 2, the Bible goes further and says, he was in the beginning with God. You tease him. Important for you to know what called the word of Jesus Christ. Word. And the word was with God. And, and the word was God. He, he, he was the Son. All things were made through him. Nothing was made that was made. This is Jesus Christ. That all things were made through him. And without him, nothing was Jesus. Uh, all things were made through Jesus. Allow me to make it literal. All things were made through Jesus. And with Jesus, nothing was made. So if you will live a victorious life as a believer, you need to have Jesus in you. You need to allow Jesus because he did not begin to live when you began to live in. I mean when you confessed him as your Lord and Savior. He was from the beginning. Come on somebody, would you help me preach this thing? Say he was from the beginning. Jesus was from the beginning. And nothing that was made was made without Jesus. So if you will succeed in this life, you need Jesus. Ah, come on church. I say, without Jesus, child of God, you are going nowhere. Without Jesus, there is no success. And anything in this world that men call success, that is is that is minus Jesus is artificial. Did you hear what I said? Anything that people call success in this life that has no Christ in it, it is nothing. It is Jesus Christ that gives life meaning. Because even the life was made by him. Glory to God. Somebody say, life without Jesus has no meaning. Because it is Christ that gives life meaning. I mean, Jesus is like a spice in a stew. Jesus spices your life. When Christ comes in your life, it doesn't matter who rot you off. When Jesus comes into your life, it doesn't matter the errors of your past. When Jesus comes into your life, he gives your life an aroma. Ah. Hallelujah. Some of us that you see today, if you met us without Jesus, there was nothing admirable. We were naughty and bigoted and rough. But Christ came and spiced our lives. And you know what is that spice? That spice is his glory. That spice is what Moses told God. If you do not go with us, we will not leave this place. Glory to Jesus. So the Bible says, nothing that was made, that was made without him. Verse number four, the Bible, I am going somewhere with this. In him was life. In Jesus was life. And the life was the light of man. That is what is he saying. Please give it to me in the message version. Let me make this thing literal. Is somebody getting blessed? Is you getting blessed you that is watching us? Look at that. What came into existence was life. You know what he is saying? Jesus was himself. Jesus was life. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So Jesus is life. Ukiona watu ambao awajamjua Kristo, wakisema mazetu kwa na life, tunajienjoy, ni, ni, ni confusion. Lazima wakunywe kitu, wakunywe bombe, ama wakunywe bangi, ama wakunywe sigara, ndiyo waseme iko life. 
You will never see a drunkard that is excited without some substance. But us, we don't need a substance because Christ, the life is in us. We are high in the morning. We are high in the evening. There is no time as a child of God when you know that life is in you. Anything can bring you down. Nothing. 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 When you understand this, nothing will bring you down. Come on, somebody say, the life of God is in me. And nothing can bring me down. In the old days we used to say, nothing can tunya me. I mean, nothing can destroy you. Paul in chapter 8 of Romans, he says, So what shall separate us from the love of God? Is it persecution? Is it trouble? Is it pain? Is it trial? Name it, whatever. It is not even COVID-19. Nothing. Why? When they say it locked the church, the church grew bigger. The church was in every house. You cannot stop the life. This life of God, it is unstoppable. Can I say something? Can I make this thing literal? When this life of God is in a believer, there is no oppression can last in you. When you feel it, it is trying to land. So don't listen to it. You, you didn't get what I said. When you say, I feel like I have an headache, it's a feeling. So don't allow it to keep feeling in you. The reality, there is a reality beyond what you are feeling. And the reality is that life, somebody say, life is in me. He looked at them in Samaria and he said, out of them, out of them shall rivers. We are dispensers of life. You should enter into a house or into an atmosphere and pipe, find people grooming and find people giving up and bring life. Bring life. And that is why I gave you an instruction. When you get guests in your house, when they come, before they do anything, you should tell them, welcome to my house. Shall we pray? So that if they came with another life, you dilute it. Even me, when I come, Glory to God. Pray, but I can only bring life, nothing else. Somebody say, I am a life dispenser. I am, come on, confess it until the devil gets an, I am a life dispenser. So what are we saying? So what are we saying? I refuse to dispense a virus. I refuse to dispense a bacteria. I refuse to dispense death. I am a dispenser of the so way, the life of God. Glory to Jesus. Never, I'm not a dispenser of discouragement. Don't talk like you have no hope. Enter somewhere. Aren't you telling me, pastor, aren't you trying to sound just too fanat fanatical and too, too zealous and too charismatic? So what do you think life is? Haven't you seen like trees when it is green and it has rained? The trees, the leaves, they, 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 they don't react. Really have you, look at, uh, have you looked at water? Life, go to the ocean or the lake because water is life. You will never see water like this. No, it is just moving within itself, moving within itself, moving this side. And sometimes if there is a gush, if there is things that were thrown in there, water does not keep nonsense. It is. So you need to become like a dispenser of when men throw some things in you, you pull them out. Because I refuse to dispense coronavirus and all that it is being announced is to indoctrinate us. To forget our identity. And I refuse. I refuse. I'm a life giver. Azule Makashada. I am a life giver. The Bible says, let them that are weak say, let the poor say, it is not a cliche. It is the reality in the realm of the spirit. And we need to download it in the physical. Glory to God. It is not a story. It is not a bunuas. No, 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 no. It is truth. Truth. Shada Makadoria. Hallelujah. 
I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Glory to God. I said hallelujah. I refuse to allow myself to be planted anything contrary to Christ. Look at verse number four, five. Verse number five. Four. We have four or five. Huh? Go back to verse four. Look at that. In him was life. And the life. So when you have this life and you come and find people confused, saying, Ata to do to the end of Ata to do to the final end. Ata to do kuna to the end of the Hey, kuisha, kuisha, kuisha. Kuisha nani? Unakuja, una life brings light. I'm reminded of Elijah. He lands, Elijah lands in Samaria and he finds everything going haywire. The Bible says there was a mother planning to eat their children tomorrow. Drought and suffering and trouble was so much that they were eating their own. Elisha arrived with the life of God. Elisha arrived with the life of God. He looked at the situation. He did not comply. Ah, the Bible says do not be conformed. He refused to conform to the reality of what was going on. He said tomorrow, hear the voice of God. Tomorrow at a time like this, a shekel of barley shall be so abakata. Life brings light in darkness. Matthew chapter 4 verse 16. The Bible says, And the people seated in darkness have seen a great light. Matthew 4 16. The Bible says, The people seated in darkness. What have they seen? The world today is seated in darkness. With COVID-19, it needs light. Come on, church. I come to prophesy. May the body of Christ arise and let men see light. Look at that. It says what? The people who sat, dwelt, enveloped. I refuse. I come out. Umoifunga baza ikakata kufungika. Na kayano unaifunga inararuka. Na kata kufungiwa kwa basha ya shetani. Na kata kufungiwa kwa basha ya virus. Na kata kufungiwa kwa basha ya umaskini. Na kata kufungiwa kwa basha ya ufukara. Nitairarua. Aduku oo oh, unajuu kwa kujai fungu arusi. Dararua. Ngalia jirani muambi. Ndairarua. The people sitting out their lives in dark saw a huge light. Sitting in that dark, dark country of death. They watched the sun. Come up, arise and shine for your light has come. Allow me to let you know in another one month or two, this thing called COVID will be a story. You will be remembering your pictures wearing a barakoa. Please speak, media people, keep those pictures. You will tell your children as a story, as a as an abunwasi narrative. Glory to God. Dwelt enveloped in darkness. I've seen a great light for those who sat in the land and shadow of death. Light has dawned. And you know, when light comes, you don't it doesn't tell darkness, you know I'm around. No. Upon arrival. Darkness and a jipang. Glory to God. Look at verse 5. My God. Verse 5 the Bible says. In John chapter 4. 1 verse 5. The Bible says. And the light shines on in darkness. Now. People are saying. Oh pastor. You know. You have no idea what I'm going through. So. Where did you want to shine from? 
If there was no drought in Samaria, how would Elisha would try? You are saying, oh, I wish I was born in another family. That is the best place. Tell your neighbor, don't cast your opportunity to shine. That crisis you are seeing is an opportunity to reveal the Christ in you. Huh? For the darkness has never, it is not in record that darkness has ever overpowered it. Hey. Come on, somebody. It is not, somebody say it is not in record. It is nowhere in any record that darkness ever outshined light. No, 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 no. It, it has never overpowered it. We announce by the word of the Spirit of God, the church will not sing. The church will rise. In this crisis, God is revealing men of faith and women of faith. Put it out or absorbed it or appropriated it and is in unreceptive to it. Verse number six. Mm. There came a man sent from God whose name was John. Verse seven. The Bible says this man came to witness. Please now give this and give me that in the amplif in the message. In the message. To point out. This man came to point out to the light, light. The main reason John came was to tell men there is a life light. There is a life light coming. He came to show everywhere where to look. I ought to believe in. Now, I have a question for you, brethren. Whom do you believe in? You believe in COVID? Do you believe in WHO? Or you believe in your Bible? I'm not saying that you be careless. But let me tell you. What is temporal will not overpower what is permanent. This is a cloud and it has no rain. Verse 8. John was not himself the light. You know you are more advantaged than John. John told a story that he did not live in its reality. John told them there is a life light coming, which is coming. Now, as we are not telling people that Jesus is the life light coming. No, the life light is in me. This time of storytelling is over. Verse number eight. He was there, verse 8, he was there to show the way to the light. As we are not telling them the way to the light, we are telling them the light is in me. I am a testimony. I'm for signs and wonder. Verse 9, the Bible says, the life light was the real thing. Every person entering life, he brings into light. Please go to verse 9, but 10. I'm going somewhere. He was in the world. The world was not there through him. And yet the world did not even notice. These people are in such a darkness that life was around them. You know, sometimes, brethren, I think of, I think of the hotel owner. Let me show you the challenge of darkness, eh? And as I say this, your eyes will open. I, I pity the owners of hotels when Jesus, when Joseph and his wife Mary were looking for an inn for a night. And that, that night was the night that the light was to shine. That hotel would be historical today. And they kept saying, we have packed. They should have even given the counter. But chaos, things that have no, I pray that you will not be that ignorant. May thy eyes be opened to the light of God. Chaos, said we don't mind. (laughs) 
cows. Glory to God. Please, cameraman, you better get yourself ready. Cows. They are in one, at one point. One by one point was more sensible than humans. <laughs> For that night, the Messiah would have been born on that hotel. I pray that you will not miss your time of shining. I imagine of the brothers of Jesus and the sisters after resurrection. There was angel They they grew up with the Messiah, head on the same plate with the Messiah, but darkness was so much on them that they did not perceive. I pray you will not be in such a darkness. Verse number 11, the Bible says, he came to his own people. Now there is where I was coming to. Now Romans becomes a reality from verse 11. He came, all those verses we were reading, the 10 verses we were coming there, to show you the reality and what informs Paul to write to the Romans. And what you need to understand as you read Romans, that he came to his own. Uh, but they did not want him. Another version, the New King James says, he came into his own, but his own received him not. Ah, may God deliver us. He came to his own. I pray that God, may God give you the spirit like that which was in the Shunammite woman. She looked at her husband and she said, I mean, I pity that man. May God help men, men, men in the church. May God help you. May, come on, if you are a lady, pray, lift up your hand. Don't point to any man. Just say, may God help men. Because they want to uh, rationalize everything. You know, this woman said to her husband, I perceive. Oh God, I pray that Lord, the Lord will give you a perceiving ability. She said, I perceive that this man that passes here is a man of God. Our perception brought forth a miracle. I pray that your spirit will have pervency in it. That you will be able to perceive before you lose. I perceive. My God, my God. My God, I, I, I thank God. I thank God for men that have gone through their hands. And the Lord helped them to perceive. To perceive. Perceive. She said to her husband, I perceive. You know what is to perceive? It is to have an understanding beyond, beyond the real sense. I mean, it is not physical. It is an uh, percept that perception is an expression of faith. What is faith? For faith, faith is evidence of things opt for, not things seen. The Bible says, and by faith, we understand. So we don't understand to our faith. By faith, we, come on, look at your neighbor. Tell them, stop. You know your problem and the reason you've lost opportunities many times is because you want to understand then our faith. But by faith, we first have faith. When I'm talking, I'm saying this COVID thing is dying. Some people are saying, Pastor, don't you know it has been killing? No. Can you keep your story? By faith, we understand that the worlds were created by the word of God. By faith, by faith, we understand. Glory to God. Make, that is, what does that mean? That is the ability to perceive. 
In nothing, in nothing, you look and say, there shall be something. There shall be something. When people are giving up and they are saying it is not going to work, you tell them it is shall work. And what you are saying is not motivational. It's not inspiration. You have a conviction beyond anything physical to discourage you. And can I tell you something? Sometimes when you begin to walk by faith and in this perception, sometimes you'll say things and after saying, things will get worse. <laughs> you know, we are told that there were women in Samaria who were planning to eat their children. Probably they ate that night, forgetting that a man of God spoke yesterday. This afternoon, a man of God has declared a word. And because they are, they are waiting to understand They ate the, we are not told, but probably they ate the child that night. What a loss. Yet the following day in the afternoon, there was waste. Food was so much. Even shilling depreciate. I mean, by faith. Yani, chakula ikashuka, pesa ika depreciate. Yani, everything. Yani, God is not a man. Glory to God. And then I like it in the message version, verse number 12. For those who believed in him. Now that is when we get into the inclusion. My time is out. We get included there. Roman becomes a reality between verse 11 and 12. He came to his own. Let me tell you, would they have received him? Probably not. <laughs> another plan. So even them failing to receive him was by default an advantage. That is why in Romans in chapter 13 you shall find Paul telling the Romans, please pray for Israel. Because in their ignorance were you remembered. Because he came to his own and his own received him not. Hence, but, no, there was no other option. But, we came into that but now. Tell your neighbor, you are a product of the but. But whoever did want him, but whoever received him, to them he gave the power. I'm going to break something out of your spirit now. To them he gave the power to become children. Now, in this beginning of salvation, you are allowed to be a child. But it is illegal to be born and remain a child. And that is where the problem of the church is. I'm a son. When children begin to, when you begin to perceive you are not a baby, you become a son. When you begin to walk by faith, you are not a baby, you are a son. The Bible says, Galatians chapter 4, as long as a son is a baby, I refuse. He is under custodian until, now, healing, covenants, chapter 9 verse 1. And verse, three, verse 3, verse 4. Covenants. Glory. Hey, adoption. It is not for babies. Mutoto aile wangka mako adopted. Ata ule wangu kimuliza. Anaiza. Ya jui. Ata ki adoptiwa. Ana fikanga mahali. Anauliza. Na ibu ngeleze ni. Na wana nyote muko we upe mingi umeusi. Hallelujah. Somebody shout Hallelujah. To sons, to sons, sons live in divine hell because they know the, what the covenants say about them. Sons, healing is bread. Come on, come on. You become, you don't now begin to pray over and to away. No. You invoke the covenant of healing. You arise in that house and say by faith, by his stripes, he was stripped. I cast out poverty. I take power and authority. 
sons take dominion against strangers and haters of the family. They said, and oh my God. Say David says in 127 that they contend with the enemies at the gates. Not babies. You know what are the enemies? COVID-19 is an enemy. That needs sons to arise and contend. Mimi kuna mimi tu nimeambiwa na watu nikazikata. Nikaandikwa hata barua nikakataa. Nikakataa kabisa. Sababu mimi najua mimi ni mwana. Give me chapter 9 verse 4. I show you what belongs to sons. Now this chapter 9 verse 4 can never be a reality until you are a son. Mtoto kama kwa hapo aelewi anaona wanacheza na matope ni mtoto. Lakini akisha koma abale ni kusokia hapa kuso ya Kiswahili kwa hapa. Avunje hiyo ubalae whatever. Kusaya. Ni kubelea ama oh tuko na holy communion. Tuko na holy communion. You know I'm not giving you another religious thing here. As we partake of this communion, I want you to come and partake of it as a son. Declaring divine health. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, I will live in health. I will live in victory. I shall find fortified walls. I shall troop over them. So don't come take care. Ile inaitangwa kuingine kukaribia. Hapa si kukaribia tu. Hapa tuna invoke. <laughs> Sileta kukaribia. Unakaribia anga na unatoka umekaribia tu vile ulikutoka. Hapa unajua mtu alikaribia haku usika. <laughs> Kuna kukaribia. Hapa usikaribie. Hapa usika. Nadhani hapo tunaweza hata karibia tunaweza usika. Wacha tuache hapo tutaendelea. Karibisha hapo tu usika. Na wewe unaye tutazama usikaribia. Chida ile watu wanakula meza ya Bwana na wanakaa kukonjeka ngojeka kudhoofika dhoofika ni kwamba ni kukaribia wanakuja na mentality Na wasu tunawajua wale wanakaribianga. Wanakaribianga walevi, wanaenda walevi. Hakuna kubadilika. Sisi tuna invoke. Iyo dam. Kile ilimaanisha kiwe reality. Na ninajua labda unasikia mushipa fulani unapiga. Ni kweli unapiga, lakini kuna ukweli zaidi ya mushipa. Kwa maana huo mushipa kabla uanze na uumbwe. Ilo neno la uponyaji lilikuwa. Kabla ya iyo shida ukonayo. Najua walikuwa mbili kuwa na nyanya yako na babu yako. Kabla hata ya babu na nyanya. Wacha ni ipeleke hapo mbele yao. Kabla ya babu na nyanya. Iyo neno tumeona kwa Yohana. Ilikuwa. Kwa hivyo unakuja hapa na understanding. Sifungi, nikaribie mesa, nitoke bile kukaribia, karibia hapa. Unakaribia uusike. Na uinvoke. What is that? Who are the Israelites? To whom pertain the adoption. Yani, in the New Living Translation, it says, it says, they are the people of Israel chosen to be God's adopted. Now, to me on verse 12, we entered as babies, but it is illegal to remain daktari, mutoto akizaliwa, na endele kukana kama mutoto, a endele niyaka kumi, anafucheza na matoto, tutrapeleka India, na turudisha. Na hata tutaenda na hondo because serious 10 years 20 years anataka kukaa mtoto i 
tutainuae tuingize tuone Bwana swe and an heir a son is eligible for inheritance but a baby is not so what is the inheritance healing covenants protection that you can be in, in that vehicle anything happens but you remain why covenants the glory the shakaina in the amplified it called it the shakaina beyond that the ability to worship him friends um, among other things that to the sons is their portion is that the curtain was torn asunder and we were ushered into the holy we were given the privilege of worshiping him and we are not worshiping him as just another casual worship we were made priests revelation chapter 1 verse 5 and 6 priests my god and there is the law we were given the law why because the law can only be released by a king your greatest challenge is that you were born in a in a democracy but in monarchy a word of a prince is a law so you need to arise and judge by the word of god anything that is contrary in your word in your life you tell it i judge you your spirit of poverty i judge get out of my life get out of this family what does it say verse 5 begin verse 5 there's a reason i say that and from jesus christ from who jesus. who is the firstborn yeah he is our f- elder brother yeah My god i don't want to confuse your theology he was the first one to be saved it says the faithful witness what is he witnessing us the first born from the dead the ruler over the kings of the earth now the ruler over us and kings of the earth to him who loved us loved us we were some say ah uh, pastor mimi nashtuka sana kanisa ya kipentecost mtu amekaa miaka 10 mimi nimebe pastor i'm suffering from rejection me i reject the rejection me have been loved before they reject they think of rejecting you i'm loved and not just loved washed that means clothed from our sins in his own blood It is here. It is here. We are in the Holy Communion. Unangoja hapa nianze kuwapeleka na mkate ukafanyika akawapatia marasi. Akasema akavunja. Tunavunja isha vunjwa. Bwana sifiwe. Hiyo mindset ya ndini ndio navunja. Then verse 6 says what? And he has not just loved us and washed us. He has made us. Can you do what I'm doing? I have been made. Now listen to me. what the challenge is that before you were saved they told you when we do these things we do it's fanatism and uh, charisma by the way these things have an implication in the realm of the spirit wewe unafikiria ni kufanya hivi ni mazoezi hapana kuna vitu tunabomoa he has made us it is an affirmation in the realm of the spirit he has done what made us what kings why kings because the law was given to them that have been adopted so it is upon you to declare that is why as we pray you hear us say i declare and i decree you can't do those things if you are not a king and it is again my god nobody can contradict what i've declared yeah? and i'm not just a king I'm a priest. Why a priest? Because of the privilege of worshiping. Only one priest 
would enter holy of holies once a year. But now, even in your bathroom, even while you are on the throne, I will explain that on Sunday, even when you are walking by the road, stand up on your feet and lift up your hands and tell him thank you Jesus for this privilege.
na mambo mema katika maisha yetu kwa damu yake kwa damu yake Father, tonight we are grateful and even you that is watching us, I hope you put your elements ready and you're ready to partake of this communion together with us. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful for the great work that you accomplished at the cross. We thank you that we were not a people, we were not a people, but by the finished work of the cross, we were that were not a people. We are now God's people. We that were not counted. We have gotten the privilege. And so Lord, in this communion, the Bible says, at that night in which he was to be betrayed, he took the bread and he broke it. And he gave thanks. And he said, take it, this is my body, which is given for you. Everlasting Father, we are grateful that you gave yourself. The Bible says that even though you were God, you took the form of a bond servant, even to die the death of the cross. It was because you had us in mind, and we tonight in folk that work you finished for us healing was part of it victory was part of it strength was part of it and so as we partake of this communion we refuse to just do it as a religious thing we are doing it out of understanding and revelation that we are partakers of the finished work of Christ and the finished work of the cross so bless us and bless this bread. Shall we partake of the bread together? The Bible says in the same manner he took the cup and he gave thanks. Everlasting Father, we are grateful that you shed your blood for us. We are partakers of that which the blood did. We've seen in the book of Revelation that you loved us and you washed us by your blood. That which you have washed, nothing has authority to infect or afflict. No witchcraft, no sorcery, no force of darkness or force of disease or infirmity. For by your stripes we were healed. And so as we partake of this communion tonight, we are declaring that all that you did for us, we will live in it, enjoy it. And we look forward to partaking of this even with you in your father's kingdom. Bless this cup as we partake of it. Shall we partake of the cup together? Lift up your hands and tell him thank you. Tell him thank you, Lord. I will not live less of what Christ accomplished for me. I will not live below. I will not live in fear. I will not live in infirmity or under a demonic attack. By your stripes we were washed, we were healed. We thank you for healing. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your glory. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Savior. Thank you Redeemer. You took away shame and gave us honor. We thank you Lord. We thank you Lord. We thank you Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Bible says and they sang at him. Shall we sing that together? Thank you for the blood. 
Father and the Father of our Lord Jesus, our Heavenly Father, I pray for our brother and our sister. I pronounce thy blessing upon their lives. And even over these people, I pray for the infilling of the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray that may you be graced to strengthen, that you will say no to all manner of evil you lead a victorious life and if you're sick in your body I cast out that infirmity I rebuke that disease I declare the touch of God the peace of God and the power of God and if you're saying pastor believe with me about this matter right now by faith I join my faith with your faith and I declare that door is open go through it I declare favor upon your life may you overcome May you lead a victorious life. You are blessed. And as it is always our custom, we climax our worship by sacrificing to God. And you're saying, Pastor, before we close, I want to give. I want to be part of what the Lord is doing. I want to give my sacrifice. I want to send my tithe, my offering. I want to sow a seed, a faith sacrifice. I want to partner with the work of God. We welcome you. We welcome you to be part of what the Lord is doing with us here. And may the Lord richly bless you. So please, if you want to do that, go to your M-Pesa. Then you will find Lipana M-Pesa. Go to the pay bill. Our business number is 247. 247. Our account number is 444585. And as you give your sacrifice, I pray may the Lord bless you, prosper you, and establish you. In Jesus' name we pray.
Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. We love you. See you tomorrow in the youth service. Please invite your friends and you will be blessed. Shalom and shalom. God bless you.